Have you ever watched the 1959 TV series, Rawhide? If so, when was the first time you tuned in? The show featured classic Hollywood actors, but which one was your favorite? We're curious to know. Now, let's dive into some random facts about Rawhide. This iconic western series followed the adventures of a group of cattle drovers as they herded their cattle from Texas to Kansas. One notable feature of the show is that it starred a young and talented Clint Eastwood in one of his earliest roles, which undoubtedly contributed to his rise to stardom. The series ran for eight seasons, entertaining audiences with tales of the Old West, confrontations with outlaws, and the challenges of life on the trail. But we're not done yet. We want to hear from you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Rawhide? Share your stories and memories in the comments below. Your perspective adds a personal touch to the show's history. Rawhide, the iconic TV series that aired from 1959 to 1966, follows a group of cattle drovers as they traverse the challenging terrain of the Old West. Originating as a classic Western drama, the show became a staple of American television, offering a thrilling mix of adventure, moral dilemmas, and camaraderie against the backdrop of a cattle drive. The central character, Rowdy Yates, portrayed by a young Clint Eastwood, became an enduring symbol of the American cowboy, capturing the essence of rugged individualism and frontier spirit. The series featured an episodic format with the cattle drive serving as the central plot device, showcasing the dangers and moral quandaries the characters faced along the way. Rawhide's impact on popular culture was profound, helping to define the Western genre on television and cementing Clint Eastwood's status as a Hollywood legend. Its enduring legacy remains a testament to the timeless appeal of Western storytelling. Clint Eastwood's connection to the TV series Rawhide runs deep. He used the same gun and wore the same boots in Rawhide as he did in his famous spaghetti westerns like a fistful of dollars, for a few dollars more, and the good, the bad, and the ugly. These iconic items even made their way into his later work, such as Unforgiven. This consistent use of props adds an interesting layer of continuity to Eastwood's career, cementing his place in Western film history. Eric Fleming, one of the main actors in the 1959 TV series Rawhide, tragically drowned in Peru while filming a movie when he was 41. This unexpected event had a significant impact on the show. Rawhide, which revolved around a group of cattle drivers, had to adjust its storyline following Fleming's untimely death. Despite this setback, the series continued to be a popular Western drama throughout its run. In 1959, the TV series Rawhide made its debut, and it would go on to become a significant part of Western television. The series featured a young Clint Eastwood, who was 28 years old at the time, even though his character was meant to be just 19. Eastwood's portrayal of Rowdy Yates helped propel him into stardom and laid the foundation for his future iconic roles in the Western genre. Rawhide was set in the 1860s and followed a group of cattle drivers as they herded cattle across the American frontier. It provided viewers with a glimpse into the challenges and adventures faced by these rugged cowboys. The show's theme, a memorable and catchy tune, even found its way into the popular movie The Blues Brothers. Notably, the show's impact reached beyond television. By the mid-1960s, Clint Eastwood had begun to gain recognition in Europe due to his performances in westerns for Sergio Leone. The producers of Rawhide tried to capitalize on his growing fame by editing together two episodes, Incident of the Running Man and The Backshooter, along with some additional footage. This amalgamation was released in Europe as a feature film titled The Magnificent Stranger, heavily emphasizing Clint Eastwood in the central role in the advertising. The film saw limited theatrical release in Italy in 1966 and West Germany in 1967. However, when Eastwood learned of this unauthorized use of his image, he took legal action, resulting in a cease and desist notice that prevented the film from being shown anywhere else. As of 2022, The Magnificent Stranger remains unseen since 1967 and has not been released on any home media. In conclusion, Rawhide played a crucial role in Clint Eastwood's rise to stardom and is remembered as a classic Western TV series. Its impact extended to the creation of a European feature film, The Magnificent Stranger, although the unauthorized use of Eastwood's image led to legal action. 
This show is a testament to the enduring appeal of westerns in American television history. The TV series Rawhide, which aired in 1959, is based on the Missouri to Texas cattle drives of the 1,700 seconds and 1,800 seconds. The show starred Eric Fleming, but recent DVD packages prominently feature Clint Eastwood due to his later fame. Sheb Woolley, who played Scout Pete Nolan on the show, had a one hit on the Billboard charts with the novelty song The Flying Purple People Eater in the early summer of 1958. The series offered a glimpse into the challenges and adventures of cattle drives in the Old West, making it a memorable part of television history. In the TV series Rawhide from 1959, there was a significant change in the main character lineup in season 8. Gil Favor, who had been the central character, was removed from the show. Clint Eastwood's character then took over the main role. This change in the lead character resulted in a loss of ratings, and the series was ultimately cancelled. The reason for this decision remains unclear, but Eric Fleming jokingly suggested in a later interview that the studios did it to save themselves a million dollars. However, it's worth noting that Fleming was not paid that amount of money in reality. The show underwent a notable shift in its final season, leaving fans to wonder about the circumstances surrounding this change. Strength in Numbers, the power of support for Rawhide's cast member Hollywood stars facing diseases. In the world of Hollywood, the glitz and glamour often overshadow the personal struggles of its stars. However, the TV series Rawhide from 1959 sheds light on the power of support in the face of disease. One of its cast members faced a challenging battle with illness, showcasing the strength in numbers within the entertainment industry. This cast member, whose identity remains an enigma, fought a lesser-known disease in Hollywood. The journey was marked by moments of vulnerability and courage. In the face of this adversity, the Hollywood community rallied together to offer support and empathy. The story of this cast member's battle serves as a reminder that fame and success do not shield individuals from the trials of life. It also highlights the compassionate side of Hollywood, where colleagues and friends stood by their side, proving that even in the glitzy world of showbiz, there's a sense of unity when it comes to facing diseases. In the midst of the vault of secrets and untold stories in Hollywood's hidden archives, this narrative of resilience and solidarity within the cast of Rawhide is a testament to the human spirit's enduring strength in the face of adversity. As we bid adieu to our journey through the iconic 1959 TV series, Rawhide, we encourage you to reflect on the profound connection this timeless show has forged within you. Rawhide's tales of courage, camaraderie, and the rugged spirit of the Old West have touched the hearts of generations, leaving an indelible mark on the landscape of television history. The dusty trails and rolling hills of Rawhide have provided the backdrop for unforgettable adventures, and perhaps you've found yourself drawn into the lives of its compelling characters. Whether it's the steadfast leadership of Gil Favor, the roguish charm of Rowdy Yates, or the colorful ensemble of drovers who braved countless challenges, Rawhide has a special place in the hearts of many. We invite you to share your cherished memories, your favorite episodes, or the profound impact Rawhide has had on your life. Let your thoughts and experiences echo through the digital campfire, connecting with fellow fans who have also embarked on this cinematic cattle drive. Your voice adds to the chorus of appreciation for Rawhide, and your stories help keep the spirit of this beloved series alive. So, please, share your thoughts, and let's celebrate Rawhide together. Thank you for joining us on this nostalgic ride down memory lane and for your enduring passion for Rawhide. Until we meet again for more adventures in the world of entertainment, stay tuned and remember, it's all about the journey.